Right guys, so here we are then for the sprint race here at Hungary and we start from fourth place on the grid, second row and we're going to be in front of our title rollers who of course are going to be starting behind us. So we've got a good chance here today to try and claw some points back and try and extend our championship lead. If you guys missed the feature race earlier on today, it will be linked in the top right hand corner of your screen. So go check it out to see exactly what happened in the first part of the race weekend. A dry to wet race, there was contact, it had it all, it was a pretty crazy race. But today we are here for the shorter sprint race and in terms of the strategy of course no stops in these races straight to the finish a flag to flag race and we're going to be starting on the medium compound tire so let's see how we get on usually our starts aren't that great but if we can try and find our pace we can hopefully try and make up a few places and to be honest with you i'd be happy with the podium so uh let's jump into it and let's try and do well in this race here today right here we go first gear selected as we get ready for the five Red lights here at the Hungara ring, and it is lights out, and away we go. It's not a terrible start from me, to be fair. I've had a lot worse than that, but Mick Schumacher does make the move. Sergio Sete camera looking for the move as well. We go back down the inside, though, at turn one, trying to retake that position from Mick Schumacher. But Mick hanging on, but eventually he has to give up, and we take P4 back once again. Nicolas Latifi in front of us once again. He's going to be the one that I think will be the favourite to win this race as Mick sticks his nose there and tries to have a look on the inside but no way through just yet. Meanwhile for the lead I think we've got I think it's Boccolacci and Delatraz here battling away. I'm not sure if it's Delatraz, oh, sorry uh, Boccolacci or Aiken, not 100% certain on which Campos car it is but for now we're looking okay. I'm going to see if I can get a run maybe on Latifi into the chicane but it looks like we've just let that one go due to a bad exit there. But for now we've done well, we've held on to our P4. 14 laps ahead of us, we'll make that 30 next time we cross the line and uh, we'll see how we get on and hopefully we can try and make a move for the podium soon but for now, it's looking okay. Whoa, getting very sideways there. Onto the pit strain is Boccolacci out front. So there we go, confirmation of the race leader. As we go on to lap two. To, to be fair, Latifi is not that aggressive on the brakes. I'm fancying a move on him to be fair. He's not really making much happen so I think I'm going to try and pounce and take that P3 away early on. Very nice done through there. We've got the run. We might just be able to challenge Latifi here. Keep the pressure on over the bump. We get very close to his rear end. We almost lose a bit of our front wing. I was trying to go for the switch back there but we ran it a bit too wide I think. Actually no, we might be okay. Latifi does defend the inside though. We're going to Look on the outside into the chicane, side by side, and we do get the move done. There we go, Latifi, very lenient there in terms of defending. He gave us a lot of room, and to be fair, didn't defend that hard. So we've absolutely just taken that smash and grab around the outside, and we're now up into the podium places. Louis Delatraz is up next in front of him, Dodion Boccolacci. So let's try and hunt these guys down, and we can potentially win this race now, now that we've cleared Latifi. We've got the pace here. We're dropping Latifi, and we're closing in on these two. We're a second up on this half, of course, this time we don't have to make any overtakes, so we've gained a lot of time on the Delta. And we are well on course to set a new fastest up of the Grand Prix, which currently belongs to Delatraz, but we're going to just blow it out of the water, really. It's going to be a much faster lap from us. This could be already the extra point, or the extra two points, should I say, for the fastest lap. So let's see what it is as we confirm it now, rolling through the final corner. Oh, a little bit of oversteer there, but we do get the DRS to compensate. And it's a 31.4 and a new fastest up of the Grand Prix, so we'll take that. Right, let's see what happens here. The leader's now starting to battle a little bit as Delatraz has a look at Boccolacci. We're going to keep the pressure up. Getting pretty close through here. We're putting some pressure on as we close up on Delatraz. Could it be the exact same move as we did on Latifi? It's not the best exit. Having a look, Delatraz locks up though. He's trying to push the braking and he does do a good job of holding on for now. Latifi closes up now as a consequence onto the back of us once again. Boccolacci locks up into turn one. But Delatran still not able to quite make a move on him. As uh, we're waiting really because the double DRS effect is making it quite hard for me to get a run on the straight. I've got to try and pass him somewhere else. This could be the spot. If we can keep it flat through here. Yes, we can. Here we go. We're gaining on him. We're going to go to the outside. Another outside overtake incoming. Yes, what a move. Delatran's backs off. He doesn't even try to fight it. That hard on the inside. And there we go. We're up to second place now. Boccolacci should be easy to pass now because he doesn't have DRS. Let's try and win this race. Here we go. Through the final corner. 
We'll get Diaris and Boccalacci. Keep it clean on the exit this time. No wheel spin. And here we go. We've got a nice toe. We're beautifully placed. Boccalacci defends the inside of the turn one. We're going to have a look though on the brake. Side by side. Boccalacci gives us a big squeeze into the apex. And that ruins my overtake attempt. I thought I was alongside, but he just completely turns in on me. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer. Let's see if we can get him through here. Again, our favorite spot. If we can just get the exit out of this left hand up, flat out through the kink. And then stay close. Maybe we can get him into the chicane. Here we go. We're gaining a chunk on the Campos driver. Down a couple of gears. Carry the momentum over the hill. Try and open up the line to then get the switch back. Struggling to get the power down, but we are looking for the move. Around the outside we go. Get in there. Yes, what a move. Eventually, the pressure paid off. We get through. We take the lead of the race, and we're currently on for the fastest lap. So it's looking good for us to pick up the reverse grid race win. Getting that confidence now to even just flick the tail out with oversteer and not feel too much under threat. Out the final corner, we're going to smash the previous fastest lap. 31.1 and that will be good enough to secure the extra two points so it's going to be a big points haul for us in the sprint race here today all that's left to do now is just to bring the car home and uh, do less of those mistakes just to pull away from DRS if possible Bocal actually holding everybody up but the AI just not quick enough or good enough around here in certain areas to make overtake stick so it's just a massive train of cars and no one's really making anything happen to be honest there's Callum Arlo out of the session my teammate has retired first retirement of the Grand Prix. I was just thinking, that hasn't been a retirement yet in this race, but we're now down to just the 19 runners. But it wasn't like Arlos doing much anyway. He's way off the pace in this. The entire season, really. I'm not quite sure why my teammate is so poor, but he is. I was getting bored, so I thought I'd stretch my legs one more time. Another purple lap. Fuel's burnt off, so we can go even quicker still. Another retirement as well. We're now down to 18 runners. This time, I believe... It was uh, potentially a carling. It might be a Matsushita. I'm not quite sure. On the way, we're now down to 18 cars. Last up of the race. Let's bring it home. Here we go then. Through the final couple of corners now. And it's been a dominant sprint race from us here today. We've really showcased what we can do with some clean air and some proper pace. As we now go through the final corner. And it's going to be fast, this lap and race win for us here in Hungary in the sprint race. We'll take that. Great job. You've done everything we wanted today. So Charus have won it, and what a great race it was. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? I think they kept a cool head. That's why they won today. Smooth, steady, everything bad that happened to them, they handled it calmly and professionally. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep out of trouble the whole way around. It's time for those well-deserved celebrations. They may be one of the newer teams to join F2, but the Charus team have shown they're a force to be reckoned with, taking home the victory. Well done to everyone on the team. Right, so here we have the final classified results. And as you can see on screen, we do pick up the win and the fastest lap. So 17 points go our way. Dorian Boccalacci does hold on to a fantastic second place ahead of Louis Delatraz. Nicolas Latifi P4 and Mick Schumacher P5. Literally, there has been pretty much no change in positions unless you go all the way down to P8 where Antoine Hubert actually beat Nick De Vries. So De Vries ends up scoring no points here today, which is great news for us in the championship. Nikita Mazepin P10 in the second ART car with Aitken P11. Guanyu Joe 12. Galal, King, Alesi, Calderon, Boschung, Raganathan, and then Matsushita and Arlot out of the race here today. In terms of the standings though, and we extend our lead over Sete Camera and De Vries in a big, big way thanks to the sprint race. And uh, we're still comfortable. We know the races are ticking down one by one, bit by bit. There are less races to go. And the 53 points is the gap between myself and Sete Camera. 68 is the gap between myself and Nick De Vries. And Latifi now almost 100 points behind. But in terms of also further down, 
Mick Schumacher moves up even more as he overtakes Antoine Hubert for P9 now. So Mick really pushing on and having a fantastic last three or four races. And in terms of the team standings, finally, we are in second place. We do cut the gap to Dams a little bit, but the gap is still absolutely massive. And uh, the target really is just to keep holding on to that second place. But guys, that is going to be it from me here today at Hungary. If you guys enjoyed the two videos and this one as well, then drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also subscribe if you are new for daily Formula 1, Formula 2, MotoGP, a set of calls, so whatever content it may be, there's going to be daily content on the channel regardless. And also turn on notifications to not miss out on any of that content. And finally, check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them. But guys, that's it from me here today, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.